In this video, I will talk about negative clamper circuit. So, what is a negative clamper circuit? A negative clamper circuit is that circuit which will shift the DC level of any alternating signal in downward or negative direction. Therefore, that circuit is known as negative clamper circuit. The negative clamper circuit will also contain capacitor, diode and the load resistor RL. But in case of negative clamper, the diode will be in downward direction. In every negative clamper, diode will be in downward direction. Okay. Here I am applying a square wave in the input side with positive peak plus Vs and negative peak minus Vs. I have to start my analysis from that half cycle which will drive the diode in forward bias. So during positive half cycle, this, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. As a result, this diode will be in forward bias. When a diode is in forward bias, in case of ideal diode, I can replace that diode with short circuit. Therefore, our circuit will look like this. And I have replaced the diode with short circuit. Now see, I am taking the output across a short circuit. Therefore, output voltage will be zero during the positive half cycle. Output voltage will remain at, le at a level of zero volt. Okay. Now, what will be the charging time of this capacitor? See, the forward resistance of the diode is zero. Therefore, tau c equal to 5 RFC will be very small. So, I can conclude that the capacitor will charge up instantly after application of input voltage plus Vs in positive half cycle. Therefore, I can write Vc equal to Vs. Here, the Vc will be equal to Vs because there is no other absor voltage absorbing element in this in the region inside this green, green shaded rectangular box okay so vc will be equal to vs so at the end of the positive half cycle i can conclude that our output voltage will be equal to zero and due to load time constant our capacitor voltage will be vs in the negative half cycle this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive see the positive terminal is connected with the n side and the negative terminal is connected with the p side therefore this diode will be reversed bias reverse bias so i can replace this diode with an open circuit so let me show you another circuit what happens in case of negative half cycle in case of negative half cycle diode is reverse bias so i have replaced the diode with an open circuit so when this diode gets opened i can assume that as if this branch does not exist in our circuit so i will remove this branch from our network during the negative half cycle if i remove the branch of diode our circuit will look like this so here i am taking the output across the load resistor and this side is positive and this side is negative therefore here the capacitor during this negative half cycle the value of capacitor c and the value of load resistor are so chosen such that the discharging time constant or dis total discharging time is very high therefore this capacitor will have stored the voltage v s during the full negative half cycle as a result i can calculate our output voltage by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in this circuit inside this green shaded box and I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in clockwise direction. At first I will encounter this input voltage Vi its positive polarity therefore its voltage will be negative minus Vs. Our capacitor is charged up to a voltage of Vs. One thing see the polarity of the capacitor this side will be positive and this side will be negative current is ch charging current will flow in this direction therefore this terminal will be positive and the charging current will leave the capacitor in this direction therefore this capacitor this side will be negative so i will encounter this capacitor and its positive polarity therefore its voltage vc will be is equal to vs and it will be negative v minus vs minus vs and see after that I will encounter this load resistor and its positive polarity therefore its voltage will be negative and so algebraic sum of all of them will be zero from which I can write that our output voltage V O will be equal to minus 2 V S okay V O equal to minus 2 V S now if I draw our output voltage you will see that due during the positive half cycle our output voltage is zero and during the negative half cycle our output voltage is equal to minus 2 p s okay see this is our let's say this is our positive half cycle and this is our negative half cycle during positive half cycle output voltage is zero and during the negative half cycle our output voltage is minus 2 v 
yes now what is the reference level or this level here this level will be at this level and it will have a value of vs see the negative clamper has shifted the dc level of the input voltage in downward direction such that the positive peak of the input voltage at the positive peak of the input voltage is plus vs positive peak of the input voltage will touch the horizontal axis now i will show you an example of negative clamper circuit with bias okay now let me read out the question calculate charging and discharging time of this circuit i have to calculate charging and discharging time of the circuit because i have to show that the charging time is much much smaller than the discharging time of the circuit that so that our circuit will act as a clamper circuit and at the end our we have to draw the output voltage for this given circuit and i have to consider the diode as ideal diode and our forward resistance of the diode is zero okay so see here we have a capacitor of one microfarad a diode d a biasing voltage of 5 volt and a load resistor of 10 kilo ohm see i am applying a asymmetrical square wave it has positive peak at plus 10 and negative peak at minus 5 therefore it its analysis is a little bit complicated at first you have to understand with which half cycle we have to start our analysis see during positive half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and during this half cycle the voltage is 10 volt so that i can expect that as the positive terminal is connected with the p side and the negative terminal is connected with n side the diode will be in forward bias so when the diode is in forward bias our capacitor will be charged in this way okay so it's charging time if i want to calculate its charging time total charging time will be tau c in equal to 5 forward bias of this resistance into our capacitance so 5 into rf rf equal to 0 therefore our total charging time will be equal to 0 that means the capacitor will charge up instantly after application of input voltage now total discharging time when the diode is in reverse by that that means the this input voltage is in negative half cycle our this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative as a result diode will be in reverse bias so i can replace this diode with an open circuit therefore the capacitor will discharge through this load resistor rlc so our total discharging time tau d will be equal to 5 rlc equal to 5 into 10 into 10 to the power 3 into 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 therefore our total discharging time will be 50 millisecond okay as that we have high discharging time compared to the low dis low charging time so i can conclude that the capacitor will hold up its capacitor voltage vc during the negative half cycle also okay and we can anticipate this circuit will act as a clamper circuit now i will start my analysis with positive half cycle during positive half cycle this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative therefore this diode is in forward bias so i will replace that diode with a short circuit see i have replaced the diode with a short circuit and a charging current ic will flow in this direction therefore i can assume that charging current is flowing in from this direction towards this direction what will be the output voltage then see i am taking out voltage across this terminal and this terminal when the diode gets shorted you will see that we are taking the output voltage across a 5 volt voltage 5 volt constant dc voltage source as long as the input voltage is at positive half cycle our output voltage will be 5 volt okay uh, so here our output voltage equal to 5 volt now after that i have to determine the what is the value of this capacitor voltage to determine that i have to apply the kashov voltage law in clockwise direction into the circuit inside the this green shaded rectangle okay now see at first i will apply kvl at first i will encounter this 10 volt voltage source it's negative terminal so its voltage will be positive plus 10 after that i will encounter this capacitor and its positive terminal there and the voltage across it is vc and it, therefore its voltage polarity will be negative minus vc after that i will encounter this 5 volt and its positive terminal so its voltage will be minus 5 equal to zero therefore our vc will be equal to 5 volt that means during the positive half cycle our capacitor voltage will be 5 volt and output voltage will also be 
5 volt during the negative half cycle during the negative half cycle this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive so this diode will be replaced by an open circuit as the diode gets opened i can remove this branch from the circuit as the diode branch has been eliminated our circuit will look like this circuit now we are left with only our output voltage vo here we are taking output voltage across the load resistor rl equal to 10 kilo ohm and its positive terminal is here and the negative terminal is here now see to determine our output voltage i have to apply kirchhoff's voltage law in the loop in the clockwise direction i have indicated with this green arrow now see at first i will encounter this input voltage vi and its positive polarity therefore minus 5 see this is the capacitor voltage vc it achieved from positive half cycle so therefore its voltage is vc equal to 5 volt and its positive polarity so its voltage will be negative minus 5 minus 5 after that i will encounter this output voltage vo and its positive terminal therefore its voltage will be negative minus 5 minus 5 minus vo will be sum of all voltage will be equal to 0 therefore our output voltage will be equal to minus 10 volt now see during the positive half cycle our output voltage was 5 and during the negative half cycle our output voltage is minus 10 therefore i can draw if i take the output voltage in this axis during the positive half cycle 0 to t by 2 our output voltage will be 5 and during the negative half cycle our output voltage will be minus 10 now in the input voltage our positive peak is 5 volt greater than the reference or dc level therefore our in the output voltage our dc new dc level will be 10 volts away from positive peak and 5 volt away from the and 5 volts away from the negative peak that means our new dc level will be at minus 5 as the circuit shifts the dc level of the input voltage therefore i can expect this i can conclude that this is a clamper circuit okay that's it thank you this concludes my lecture regarding positive and negative clamper circuit that's it